There were no such nuances in Carolina only 10 days ago when Bryce Young went from being the starter after the week two loss to not the starter in advance of the week three ultimate victory over the Las Vegas Raiders. Do you think, and I, I, I always am fascinated by the Sunday splash reports, the different things that teams will put out there fully cognizant of the fact that certain reporters will just repeat anything they're told to curry favor with their sources. This idea that Bryce Young will start again this year, put out by the media conglomerate that's partially owned by the Panthers. I don't buy it. Do you buy it? You and I are of the same mind on this. And and I will tell you that when Bryce got benched, I reached out to someone in the organization and I was like, what like help me out with this what's going on here and the response i was given was this is he needs time to heal like he's mentally like he's just so cashed at this point mentally that he needs he just needs a break and and we need to you know put him in the background for a while let him settle down mentally and then revisit this down the line and and again this is inside the organization i'm being told this is not necessarily a permanent thing as soon as I got off the phone, I was like, I don't, I can't believe this. Like, I can't trust this because I, it was not David Tepper who I was speaking to. And frankly, even if it was David Tepper, I was speaking to, I'd go David Tepper's background is such that I I can't put any weight behind um, this being the absolute honest truth because David Tepper changes his mind all the time. And David Tepper gets involved in football operations historically and even if that has changed this year, which when I went through Carolina, I was told, no, 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 no. Uh, like David understands the situation now. He knows it's got to be a, a coach GM driven operation. He really just has to, you know, be hands off and let us do what we need to do. You can say all that, but when push comes to shove, David Tepper has shown us who he is. And that to me is suggestive of, you know, Andy Dalton getting in there and seeing positive results it's it's a it's a drug right like it's a, there's no doubt in my mind that david tepper's not sitting there going oh my god we had a kid who in week two i think he threw six passes to our wide receivers in week three andy dalton comes in and throws 16 passes to our wide receivers and you completely see the offense transform there are areas of the field that are now available to us that were not available to us one week before and and that transformative quality to me um, leads me to believe that ownership for sure is going to want to lead into the guy who can access the field, give you wins. And, and I thought when Dave Canales came out and said, this is the guy who gives us the best chance to win. Sure. It's, it's, it's the head coach saying that, but I, I think ownership is, it's a three headed monster there, but it's really always a one headed monster there. And I think as long as Tepper's happy with what is happening under Andy Dalton, I, I just, I have a really hard time seeing Bryce Young getting back onto the field for them. And that's the one caveat I'll apply. I don't believe for a second they went into this saying Bryce just needs a break and he'll be back. (laughs) He's only going to be back if David Tepper makes the sudden decision. Andy Dalton sucks now. We got to go back to Bryce Young. We got to put him back on the field. That, that's the only way it happens. The, the owner is very impulsive. He wants what he wants when he wants it. He's basically Veruca yep. Salt. And it, it's only going to be Bryce Young again. The moment David Tepper rolls out of bed and says, I want Bryce Young back under center, Dave Canales, go tell the world it's your decision, which he probably isn't that blunt and direct about it, but it may not be that far off given what we've seen from David Tepper. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.